Um, I'm Matthew Bales. I'm um, currently a Pro Vice Chancellor at Swinburne University of Technology um, for Research, and I'm the dynamic theme leader for the Castro project. I think we really need people who really love doing science. They've got to have that inner passion that's going to drive them, um, because there are kind of lonely and dark times in a PhD where you know things aren't working, and if you're not motivated by the end product, I think it's hard for some people to get through those those times. In these big projects, the ability to get on with your colleagues is is very important. So, you know, team player is a term that's often used. I think inappropriately. Um, I look at it as a, a team player as, as not just somebody who's like a politician, um, but somebody who's valuable to a team. And they're valuable because of what they do. There's a small component of that which involves like how they behave. Um, but I think um, a lot of these projects, you know, once you require 10 people or 20 people, 50 people. Um, there becomes a, a kind of a political element and um, the most valuable people are those who everybody in the team wants to have working on their part of it because they know that if you give them a task they'll finish it. And they won't complain and they'll have initiative and, and those sort of things. So you know I think um, in astronomy there's still a role for kind of the loner who does the theoretical calculation or works on a new algorithm for something. Um, but ultimately, I think it was Einstein who said, if you don't tell people what you do, there's no point in doing it. And um, you, know, you can have a team which has a range of people from everybody from kind of like the social director to the, um, the person who can nut out a hard problem on their own. Um, to people who, you know, organises Gantt charts that show, you know, when people should be, be finishing them. Um, but being able to communicate what you're doing to others and your team leaders and so on is, is very important. Whenever you come somewhere that has resources and instruments that nobody else has, that's a, a unique opportunity. And so I think for postdocs and students who want to do something really new, it's a fantastic opportunity. Um, we're still in a commissioning phase and a instrumental development and a technique development. So I think at the moment there's really great opportunities for people who love, you know, playing with new toys. Um, that's going to evolve, you know, during the lifetime of Castro to people who really just want to do really big science. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a great opportunity throughout Castro's you know, seven year lifetime for to get everybody from kind of engineers in here to do great things to people who are going to do the largest ever survey of you know, radio galaxies or pulsars or, or something.